just the back of the truck. So yeah, pretty simple. Not really a whole lot to say about the bike rack. But now we're gonna get into some of my favorite stuff, which is, you know, all the electronics and the camping goodies. So yeah, but before we do that, we're gonna have to pull all these bins out because we're living the bin life. So if you guys have watched any of our adventure videos, you know that Victoria and I are big time food people. The reason we're able to make all of those amazing meals that you guys see in our videos is because of this big boy right here. This is actually our fridge. It's a 75 liter fridge made by Alpicool, which I had actually never heard of Alpicool. Most people who do like overlanding, they have either ARB or Dometic fridges, but I found this company, Alpicool. I reached out to them and they were super awesome in sending me this fridge. And I have to say, I have no complaints about it whatsoever. And I'm actually stoked to recommend it to you guys because those other two brands, they're super expensive. And the Alpicool so far seems to work just as well. So it's super awesome. It has a digital display. You can control all your temperature controls. It even has Bluetooth capabilities. So when the fridge is back here and plugged in, I can actually check it while I'm driving on my phone's app to make sure that it's cooling and getting enough power and that it hasn't come unplugged or anything like that. So yeah, overall it's just super sick. It's super durable. As you can see, it has this handle here, which is super convenient for pulling it out of the truck. And it has wheels in the back too, so that you can kind of roll it around if you want to, you know, take it around camp or anything like that. But quickly, we'll show you guys inside. So this is our fridge. There's not really too much in there because we already ate our meal from last night, but it's really nice because it has fridge and freezer. So yeah, we can keep veggies frozen, we can keep meats frozen, and it's just been a total game changer in terms of like being able to be off the grid and stay out for a lot longer because, you know, if you have a regular cooler, eventually your ice is gonna melt and you're gonna need to go back to town to get more ice. Whereas this, we can just keep it plugged in, we can use solar, and we can pretty much stay out as long as we have enough food. We don't have to go back and, uh, you know, restock on ice or anything like that. So it's been super cool. Now, as far as actually powering it, I found a little bit of like a janky solution, but it seems to work super well. So I'm gonna close this up real quick so that I can show you guys how we're actually plugging this in. So as far as powering our fridge, now originally I was gonna build some 12 volt DC ports back here, but it got to be a little bit more of a process than I wanted to. And again, we just wanted to get out and go on adventures. So I found this little thing right here. It is a trailer hitch port that converts it to two 12 volt DC ports. So as you can imagine, it's super easy. You just come down here, plug that into the trailer port and plug the fridge into one of the DC ports. And then when the truck is running, I will have power to my fridge. So yeah, it's a super easy solution. Then I just close this down and I kind of just let this cable dangle out, which obviously isn't the most ideal, but so far it's never fallen out and my fridge always stays powered whenever we're driving. So it's just been super convenient. Haven't had to drill anything and it really just works super well. So of course I'll go ahead and link that down in the description below because it was kind of hard to find. So yeah, but otherwise it works super well. And then I can just check the app and make sure that the fridge is running while we're you know out on the road driving from one spot to the other. So yeah, that's our fridge and that's how we're getting power to it. Speaking of power, 